Following coronavirus news tonight, a spike in cases and staffing shortages are forcing some ICUs across the state to shut down. And our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung went inside an ICU here in Northeast Kansas, where they are also turning away patients away from their ICU beds because they're all filled up. Hospitals here like Stormont Vale and Topeka are really reaching their limit when it comes to ICU capacity. The same goes for other hospitals in the state, but I'm told especially in northeast Kansas, they're experiencing a high volume of patients that's forcing them to turn away transfer patients due to lack of staff beds. Kansas hospitals like Stormont Vale and Topeka are just one of many trying to balance treating an influx of patients with staff stressed and stretched thin. A lot of it has to do with the volume of patients that we're seeing, there's a lot more people that are getting sick with this virus than before. The volume and the number of patients is much, much higher. Right now, doctors say they're at 95 percent capacity. Hospitals across the state are also feeling the pressure. State data shows about two thirds of ICU beds in Kansas are full, and within the last week, the state's seen more than 800 confirmed coronavirus hospitalizations, according to the state's hospital association. They're calling it a crisis. Some hospitals are even considering major changes to how they handle patients coming in. Some hospitals that are saying, you know, we're going to have to consider, and some have, not just not having specific units, but potentially getting to a place where they have to stop select some surgeries or, or things that are um, non-essential surgeries. Now, the spike in cases has also led to an increase in testing, pulling some workers away from already short-staffed hospitals. CDC numbers showing more than 72,000 tests done just within the last week. With these challenges, hospital officials here say this is the most severe surge they're seeing right now. We need to all do our part to keep our communities health and safety safe so we can keep our hospitals open so they can be there 24-7, 365 for any kind of need. And they say it's really a mix of variants they're seeing among people who have been infected. So even though there's still a lot of people who have been impacted by the Delta variant, now with the Omicron variant in the state, they say they're expecting an even greater increase in cases. Reporting in Central Topeka, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, thank you, Rebecca. And leading doctors from across the state right now are going to be talking about the impact this is having on hospitals and health care in Kansas. And they're going to be live streaming that at 8 tomorrow morning. So we will be sure to keep you updated on what comes out of that, both on air and online at fox43topeka.com.